Hey, hey, YouTube family. How you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me. All right, in this video, we're going to discuss the big confrontation. Yes, that's right. Everything's coming out now uh, with, with Kate. It looks like Kate has been confronting Megan over the years, and we've got video of it. I'm going to show it uh, as I continue this video. It looks like Megan underestimated Kate. And she got, she's, Kate showed her canines. Kate showed Megan that she was, uh, she was not going to put up with her shit at all. And she was angry about the Oprah interview. Just check this out. All right, before I get started discussing that, I just want to remind you guys to take the three polls on my community tab. Uh, the poll on Megan, uh, Megan Markle, and whether she has a chance in U.S. politics. And then also there are two polls, one on the memoirs of Jada Pinkett Smith and Megan Markle. Both apparently are coming out with memoirs. Would you buy it? All right, so take the poll and also take a moment to visit my uh, travel channel. I got a, tra a travel channel called Rhonda Loves Life Travel Diaries. And I've got some cool videos up there. So keep checking, checking out when you can. All right, let's get back to this explosive story. Apparently, Kate was the one, she was the mastermind behind pushing the phrase, recollections may vary, okay? Right after um, the uh, explosive Oprah interview, when Prince Harry and Megan, Megan more than anything, called the royal family a racist. Okay, that was the start of her trying to destroy and tear down the monarchy. That really was. And Megan and, and, and Kate was seething. So when Kate finally got a chance to see Megan, that was during that walkabout. All right. And guess what? <laughs> oh, my God. It's terrible. Look at this. Look at this video. Kate is seething and walks up to Megan. And Megan... <laughs> You know, it, it shook her and she t grabbed her hair because she grabs her hair when she got a tick because she has a tick. So she grabs her hair and she didn't know what to do. And of course, hair is just oblivious. But me, uh, Kate, I'm so proud of Kate. Not that she needs my uh, me, me, me to be proud of her. Kate is rooted in self. She knows her place. She will be queen and she will not let some two bit. D-list actress from a broken home and a mom who disappeared for 10 years come in and try to tear down the kingdom. And you look at Kate's face. That is a ball, that is a wall of strength and steel. And it me and ran back to uh, Montecito as quickly as she could. And now she's trying to, uh, she's trying to fix her, uh, rebrand herself, which will never work. I just don't think it will unless she drops all of the royal titles. I'm going to do a different video on that. So you guys let me know what you think of Kate. I always figured Kate to be a, a ball of strength. I never thought she was weak ever. I just, I thought she was very smart. She's deliberate. She speaks when she, she says nothing until she's ready to say something. And it's always deliberate in what she says. She gives nothing away for free. She takes care of her family, and she never makes one step out of place. She doesn't. Sorry. She doesn't. And she understands her place. That is her. She will soon be queen because her husband will be king. And she knows that Megan was trying to covet that. Megan, she punked you. She punked you. All right, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments of this shocking video and the revelation that Kate was the one that pushed the recollections may vary phrase that will definitely go down in history. All right. I want to thank you for watching. I'll chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao.